Hello and welcome. In this video I want to make a visible light spectroscope out of a Pringles can. There are many videos out there on how to make these spectroscopes. In addition to the stuff here, you'll also need some matte black paper as I'll explain later. So what we have is an old CD-ROM, a piece of a baking tray that's cut into a square that just fits over the top of the Pringles can, the open end of it. We're going to use a Dremel to cut a square hole about an inch square in this metal end. We're going to uh, cut a slit in this aluminum foil with a X-Acto knife, so it should be about the width of the knife. Just cut a, a, sl a slit about um, less than an inch in this. We're going to strip off the, the top layer, which is this layer here, the uh, rough layer, using by using um, uh, basically duct tape. We're going to cover this in duct tape. Uh, we're going to cut around the other end of this, the other side of this. So we're going to cut basically a ring around this, just around the edge, put the duct tape on, and then pull the duct tape off to pull off the uh, foil and leave behind the clear plastic, which will have a diffraction grating on it. Then we're going to cut this into approximately quarter pieces. We're going to take one of those quarter pieces and stick it over the end so that the, the lines, the diffraction grating lines, are parallel with the slit that we're going to cut in the baking foil that's going to be over this end. And so we're going to place that uh, quarter piece over the inch square that's going to be cut in this part. And we'll use a Dremel for that. Then we're going to cover up all the edges to make sure that there's no light getting into this can. And that, uh, the only light gets that gets in comes from the slit that's in um, this piece of baking tray. So let's, uh, let's get going with this process. Okay, here's the, here's the two layers separated out. So um, we now have our diffraction grating, which I'm now going to cut up into four pieces. Here are the markings for my one inch hole, which I'm going to cut with a Dremel. Well, here it is, not the best looking one inch by one inch hole I've ever cut with a Dremel, but it will do for this. Here's our one inch, uh, here's our one inch long slit that we cut in the baking foil with this knife. So now we're going to place this foil over the spectrometer. This is your finalized uh, CD spectrophotometer with a one inch square with the lines of the grating parallel to that slit right there at the other end and I've taped everything off to block any possible light contamination. One thing that really helps is to roll up a sheet of matte black paper and put it inside the tube to prevent internal reflections. These were taken with a cell phone using a CFL white light and you can see all the internal reflections from the inside of the can. This is the same image again taken with matte black paper rolled on the inside of the can preventing the internal reflections. It's a whole lot better. This is a fluorescent blue black light CFL. This is a neon light. <laughs> 